All right, today on How To Thrifty, we're gonna look at this Greenworks Elite Pressure Washer. I just bought the Greenworks Elite Pressure Washer from Costco because I was tired of paying $22 a month per vehicle to wash my vehicles. And I bought the pressure washer from Costco. It's normally $200. I got it on sale for $168. I figured, hey, in just under four months, like it would pay for itself. So that's what I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to put it together here and give you a little bit of a, uh, an introduction to it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this bolt, drop it through the wheel, put this little sleeve on there, and put it through this hole right down here. And once I slide that through here, I'm going to slide a washer on the other side. And then we're going to put this cotter pin, I believe is what it's called, inside that little hole there. Now that we've done that, I'm going to take this Greenworks logo thing and uh, as you see these screws here though, first I want to point this out. You have four screws with really wide uh, channels between the threads and then two screws with thinner channels. And we're going to take the four and we're going to put them through those things there as they go through that hole. Go ahead and screw those on. Just like that. And then what I'm going to do is flip it over and I'm going to attach it to the pressure washer using these push pins here. I'm going to push those pins in and drop it right in the slot like so. Next, after that, we're going to go ahead and take the attachment that goes on to the sprayer gun. I'm going to screw that on, make sure it's nice and snug. And after that, we're going to attach the hose. So we're going to kind of push it on there, and then once it clicks, we're going to turn it on. Okay, now that we've got that tight, we're going to take this protective cap off and screw the other end of the hose. Same process here. I'm going to push it on until it kind of clicks in, and then twist it on until it's nice and snug. Next, we're going to put the soap tank on there. The soap tank, see these little holes, they go over those screws that you can't really adjust. And then once they're over that, we're just going to knock it in place, nice and secure. Then we're going to take the feeder hose from the soap tank and run it right into there, on that nipple there. Next, we're going to go ahead and attach this. This is the hose holder. This holds the hose in. We have to kind of squeeze the end of it. And then, so it's kind of hard here with one hand, we're going to put it on into those holes there and then snap those over the side like that. Go ahead and rest the hose on there. Now I'm going to go ahead and attach the hose holder, uh, the, the gun holder. We're going to go ahead and take those other two screws, screw those nice and snug. And then once we've done that, this, the sprayer gun just drops right in. Okay, and then I'm going to take that additional attachment that's kind of the, the really fine sprayer attachment and put that there. Now this is a pin that's used in case you ever get the the nozzle clogged with dirt or with soap or something. That goes in there to help clean it out. Let's go ahead and test it outside. I'm going to go ahead and screw the hose on into the pressure washer. Then we're going to turn the hose on and then plug it into the outlet. It's nice because it has a built-in uh, outlet trip or a GFCI outlet onto it. Now I'm going to take the 25 degree angle sprayer. It's kind of funny because it has pictures on here to depict what you should use it for. This one indicated a fence, or I'm assuming for yard care, driveways kind of stuff. That's what I'm going to test it on here is a sidewalk. Let's go ahead and turn the machine on. And now this is a safety mechanism to prevent you from accidentally spraying yourself because it can kind of hurt if it's too close to you. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some clips of me cleaning off the sidewalk and driveway and then also cleaning my car. As you can see, it moves mud pretty well, gets it clean off there. And uh, it's, it's also nice because it gets mud off of bikes, bike tires really well. Um, gets even dried on concrete off of my driveway off. And I think it does a really good job of uh, cleaning off the car, as you'll see here in just a moment. I'm going to fill up the soap dispenser with some all-purpose soap and then add some water. I feel like this is a whole lot easier than having a bucket and uh, doing it all by hand. Me just spraying it down, it seems to get more of the dirt off and it seems to be a whole lot easier. And it's a whole lot less labor intensive to uh, to just spray it off and instead of having to wipe it all down multiple times. Something else I really like about having a pressure washer is uh, I live in a place that they salt the roads in the winter time to keep the roads clean for me. And that's awful for your car. It's awful for the rust and the frame and the paint and things like that. So it is really nice if you get a warm enough day to just get out, connect the hose as long as it's above freezing, and just go ahead and spray off the undercarriage real quick. And, and spray the salt off the side of the car. Now, granted, I'm saving enough money that if I need to pay for a car wash once or twice a, a year, that's okay. I've saved so much money on buying this thing. Again, I really like the Greenworks Elite Pressure Washer. If you like this video, 
please give me a thumbs up, like the video, share it if you want to. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. It really helps me out. It gives me a lot more uh, energy and desire to want to make more of these videos. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment for something else you might like to see. Thanks again for watching How To Thrifty. Goodbye.